Okay, we're here with Lisa Flick, who's the um, supporter for Jesse Williams, on what was a lovely blue uh, called the tourmalé. And uh, as we've been setting up the camera, the clouds come in, and uh, we've got a bit chilly. So yeah. <laughs> anyway, hi Lisa. How's, hi. how's it been going? Uh, you know, we've we've been doing really well the last couple of days. Uh, Jesse has had uh, a really awesome flight on day three. He breezed past past turn point three. Uh, and yesterday he had a really awesome flight until the thunderstorms shut him down on his way here to turn point five. So we were um, not expecting that, but again, you know, it's hard to know what to expect here. Um, so he is about 10 kilometers south of us right now, a little less than that, I think, um, hiking towards the turn point. And, and uh, yeah, he's been feeling good. Uh, after the, the incident on day one, he has progressively recovered and his, he's on foot right now. I know he needs a change of shoes at the moment, but other than that, feeling good, team's feeling good. Uh, we're just sitting here waiting and uh, hopefully these clouds pass. Yeah, hopefully we'll be able to get off and fly it. Yeah. So in the interview that we did with you when we, on, in, on the Arabia, mm -hmm. he mentioned particularly wanting to get past um, Peña Montanesa and presumably hiked up it. Yes, so that was actually yesterday. Uh, we had a we had a really nice place to camp um, near La Spuña uh, two nights ago, and then he we all three of us hiked up to the turn to uh, not to the turn point to Peña Montanesa, and he took off um, somewhere around one o'clock yesterday, and that's where he had a really nice flight in this direction. So um, yeah, it was an awesome day yesterday mm -hmm. to start. <laughs> Great. Yeah, so he he accomplished that and. Uh, yeah, we'll see. We'll see what happens next. Yeah, what's the plan for the next stage? Well, depending on what time he gets here, um, uh, we've talked about the north route to Pedroforca. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, given that there's storms on the way, I think we'll sit down and, and talk when he gets here. So, yeah, yeah I'm not sure. I think kind of getting the looking at the forecast is probably quite critical. Right now that there might not be storms tomorrow, it's it's uh, anybody's guess. I, I looked at the forecast for Catalonia this morning and the forecast for tomorrow was much better. Okay. The forecast for today was for a lot of thunderstorms, weather warnings for 20 milliliters. Milli yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 20 milliliters in 30 minutes. So yeah. today it looks very, very stormy. Tomorrow, n not, not anywhere near. But I mean, I haven't seen the updated forecast, but it definitely looks much yeah. better for Catalonia tomorrow. Yeah. So as you're heading east, you should be heading into better weather. Well, since he's been on his feet and will be on his feet most likely all day today, I'm hoping that tomorrow is a awesome flying day. Well, I'll keep my yeah. fingers crossed for yeah, you. Yeah, just straight to Pedroforca, and then we still have a lot of time left to get to turn point seven. Oh yeah, you've got yeah. plenty of time to get plenty to the of beach. Time. Yeah, yeah. Get, get yeah. your bikini ready. <laughs> Can't wait. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much yeah, for talking to us. Yeah, thank you, Judith.